Hello, I'm back with another video, part three, um, or I should say, third update. I went ahead and I got two Quiet One, um, Lifeguard Quiet One aquarium pumps. These are rated at 103 gallons per hour. These are the 400s. I got two of them. This is a brand new one, still haven't opened it. But uh, I already got it apart, and I'm already doing mods to the actual pump. That way we can um, get some more get all the water flow directly out of them instead of restricting them to, um, to water flow. I went ahead and I got another Kimi Pure Elite um, for the Nano, and then I got new uh, filter pad. Uh, this is the update on the Nano. Uh, it's, these I haven't taken off the frag plugs to glue them in yet. I got this, the Stylophora, another Stylophora, and the Polisopora. Um, I went ahead and I got rid of the actual clam um, it was just my nitrates will go up too, and then I would have to do another water change every time I fed. So I just decided that the maximum I needed a bigger tank anyways, because uh, I know I can keep it alive, but it was just easier on my end that way. I'm going to be getting rid of this pad. I'm going to be getting rid of, well, not really getting rid of, but I'm going to be taking off the bottom pump, and I'm going to be taking off that water pump, and I'm going to keep the middle, which is the spray bar right here, the mod that I did to the actual tank, which is drilled, and it goes down there, that way you don't see no pumps, anything in the front panel. Uh, I also went ahead and I replaced my light with this uh, uh, AI uh, Prime HD. Um, right now, everything's so far so great, um, but I'm going to go and um, uh, replace those pumps. You can see the bottom one, the one over there, and there's three of them in here. But since these little pumps are rated at, give me a second, I'll give you guys a chance to look at my tank. I went ahead and I moved the tank as well. I used to sit on this side of the kitchen uh, counter, but now it resides right here. It was getting hotter. Oh, and I also went ahead and I replaced the, uh, the heater. Um, I used to have a cheap heater, and now I got a cobalt um, heater. And it sets at 78, but uh, it keeps me, it maintains at 77 point something. So it's, it's, it's still good, still good, but not enough. Uh, oh, and I also went ahead and I took off the switcher. So basically, if I want to, um, like when I do water changes, instead of unplugging the actual, um, the actual plugs from there, I went ahead and I did this. This is wireless. So this is wireless, all I gotta do is just on, my water's flowing, and then shut it off, and that's it. So basically there's no more splashing, there's no nothing. Uh, like right now I'm gonna be removing those pumps to do the mods on these ones, getting them bigger, bigger flow. But what I went ahead and did, I basically took apart the bottom of this, I took this apart, and then I went ahead and I took off this, which is on the actual inside of the uh, pump. And I'm gonna cut it, I mean I cut it in half, and I'm gonna glue it right here to the bottom of here. I'm gonna glue one here and I'm gonna glue one here. It's not gonna obstruct anything or anything, but when it sits, the pump sits down on the actual uh, fish tank, it's not gonna vibrate. Um, and it's gonna suspend it like so from the pump. I mean from the glass. So it's gonna give it a cushion so it won't vibrate at all. I also went ahead and I took this thing apart. This thing's supposed to be to turn down the pressure, turn it up, but basically that's how it goes. The bottom part, which don't ask me how I pulled it apart, but I pulled it apart, um, it's right here. So I can take off this hose and put the barb right there. Well, not really a barb, but this is where you regulate the, the water. Uh, you turn the dial and that thing restricts the flow. So that's how you can uh, turn down the, the flow on the actual pump. But since we want to add more flow because, I don't know if you guys noticed, more acros in the tank, uh, more SPS. So uh, I, need to get, uh, I need to get more flow into this little tank. So we're going to open up this box. And these are cheap too. These pumps were $12 at uh, Aqua, Aqua SD in San Diego. Um, they're like 11 something a, a, a um, a pump. Uh, that's the instructions off this box, but here is the new instructions. Oh, uh, let me jump back to what I said about the pumps. The two pumps that I have down at the bottom, they're rated at, let me see, let me see, let me see. These are the, 
These are the 301s. So the 301s are rated at 79 gallons per hour. Um, but they're, I mean, they do good. They do a very good job. But um, I think at 103, it's gonna make those those polyps on these acros just expand a little more and flow a little bit different. Uh, the polyps are completely out, but basically, um, I like I like them to be all the way out. Um, but yeah, so far so good with this with this new light as well. Um, but this is the new pump, and this is it right here, and this is what the actual fitting looks like. Um, this is it right here. This part comes off, this part stays. So this thing's a pain in the butt to get into as well, which goes right over here. Like so, but you have to use both hands and I know I'm not gonna be able to use both hands on this thing to get it in there. And then this thing comes apart right here and we're gonna be taking off that filter right there, those little pads. We're gonna take it off of there. It's right here, I don't know if you can see it from this video. But they're right here. We're going to be taking those off and we're going to be uh, gluing it, cutting it in half and gluing it on the bottom. That way it uh, doesn't make any noise when it's vibrating or I might just not do that and just grab a piece of this and just uh, glue it onto the bottom of that. But basically that's those are the uh, two updates, three updates that I'm actually doing. So I'm doing the actual uh, uh, two pumps. Uh, if these look pretty good, I'm going to get rid of this little pump because it's a tiny, tiny little pump. And this one only does 52 gallons an hour, that little tiny one. Uh, that, that's the 3 eighths line and these is, this is half inch line. So this is half inch line and this one's 3 eighths line. So I'm hoping that the restriction from the actual nozzle is going to give it more head pressure. So um, or more pressure to the actual uh, pump. So we'll see what it, what it does with those two things. And if it actually does good like I'm hoping it does, then I'm going to be replacing this third little pump, which is this little one, the spray bar that I did. Um, I'm going to be replacing that with one of those pumps. There, now it's straight. Uh, don't drive me as crazy. Um, so those are basically it. So new AI, uh, new heater in the back, the new switching thing, well, actually three things, and both those little pumps... So that's going to be five things, actually. And I got a lot ton more acros. But basically, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm hoping to get it done today. Oh, and I'm going to be replacing the uh, Kimi Pure Elite that I have in there that's been running ever since day one. I'm going to be replacing it with the second one. Oh, and the other thing is I, I ran that bowl, which is just a guppy bowl in a planted tank. I ran it to that corner. And I ran this one to this corner where it's nice and open in this corner. There's no... There's no uh, restriction there, and there's no restriction here. It basically sits right here uh, on the side, on the corner of the actual uh, counter. That way, it gets flow from this way, flow from that way, all the way around it. The windows that way, and there's another window in the washroom, which is over there, and everything can actually uh, come out of there. Very simple, but um, I mean, it gets very simple flow, and the tank stays nice and cool. Uh, it was getting up to uh, 81, uh, and it's not even summer. It's actually cold, uh, and uh, I don't know why it was getting up to 81. So I got rid of the other light, and I went ahead and I got the uh, the AI, and I also got the neck, and I also got that. That way it wouldn't be um, crazy for the overspray. And 